Game number one, the Colts at the Chiefs. Chiefs are a five and a half point favorite. It's Saturday, January 12th, 3.35 p.m. on NBC. The over under 57 and a half. It's a pretty big number. Pretty big number. Um, I'll go on and tell you my pick here. Okay. I'm still rolling with the Colts. Uh, five and a half seems crazy to me. The Colts have got the better defense. The Colts offense is, I think, going to have a field day against this Chiefs defense. We all know the Chiefs playoff record at home. I don't think that that necessarily plays into this. I think there is a lot of pressure on them to win. I think the Colts are playing with house money right now. They oh, won 10 totally out of the last like, like this is this is the hottest team to start the year against the hottest team to end the year. Correct. And the Chiefs didn't play real well at the end of the season. No. They they lost the games against the toughest competition all season. And I think the same thing happens here. I I'm not going to take the Colts on the money line. I don't well I'm probably going to take the Colts on the money line, but I, I my bet is the Colts plus five and a half. What what say you? I don't feel nearly as good about any of these games I did last I, week. I think Marlon Mack goes bananas, and I think T.Y. Hilton has 100-plus yards. So if you're looking for prop bets as well, look The for thing is, is this Colts defense has looked really good, but they've looked really good against the Texans twice. The Texans offense is not this Chiefs offense. Yeah, and, and the Cowboys and and I understand yeah. that, but I, I I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll with the Chiefs. I'm gonna roll with the Chiefs and at home. I think this is the year they're doing something special. And um I think last same thing I've always felt with the Chiefs games. Last team to get the ball. They get the ball last, they can win by a touchdown. I mean, I th- I think they score fast enough and, and they've had an extra week to prepare and get ready. Uh I think I think I'm going with the Chiefs. Now we don't always bet our over unders, um, but like, what's the feeling? No, I don't. I hate. I hate college or NFL over. I don't really like over unders. Rarely do I like them at all. Um, I, I would say over. If I'm if I'm given a pick for I, this thing, I would say over. It, well, if I'm the not Chiefs are going to win, any it, it would have to be over. Yes. Um, I, I trust Andrew Luck a lot more in this spot than I do Pat Mahomes. Um, I think Mahomes turns it over a couple of times. The the offensive and defensive line. Correct. For the Colts has been otherworldly. So there's a couple of rules that I have to play off gambling um, that have served me pretty well over the years. One of them is usually bet dogs. These games are field goal games. Um, well, it, it, that's the biggest thing is 14 of yeah. the last 15 playoff games. They're all yeah, they're all close. The games. dogs have have no. covered every one of them. That's right. No, the, the yeah, no, it's a crazy number. But the one thing that I'm that I'm one of the rules is also avoid the hot team. Avoid the team that – not the hot team, sorry. Avoid the team that just blew somebody out the week before. Yeah. Because you just work under the assumption that, oh, the last thing you saw was them blowing a team out. So you now think, well, they're going to blow this team out too. And we only have one blowout. And and I think I'm just going to go – that's the only thing making this pick is – I just saw them blow out the Texans. I, I think I think I'm gonna avoid them. I think I, I'm gonna go the other way. I can understand that. I can understand that. 